Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah The next hadith illustrates for us the permissibility of the husband and wife bathing together but that we have a couple of ahadith as mentioned in Bulugh al-Maram which seem to contradict one another so we have to learn how do we actually practice that and implement that those ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam عن رجل صاحب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال نهى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن تغتسل المرأة بفضل رجل أو رجل بفضل المرأة ولا يغترفا جميعا أخرجه أبو داود والنسائي وإسناده الصحيح على المسنجر صلى الله عليه وسلم forbade a woman to bathe with water left over by a man and that a woman should not bathe with water left over by a woman but instead they should both take scoopfuls of the water together and this was reported in Sunan Abi Dawood and Nisa'i with a authentic chain of narrators in the hadith of Ibn Abbas عنه, he said he should spill the content meaning spill out the water content and bathe from and in the narration of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu an Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and an Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallama kana yaghtasalu bi fadli maymuna radiallahu ta'ala anha أخرجه مسلم. In Sahih Muslim, we have the narration narrated Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما. The messenger, the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to bathe with the water left over by Maymuna, and Muslim reported it. And in another Sahih Hadith, it was reported by Ashab Sunan that one of the wives of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم took bath from a vessel. Then came the Prophet وسلم, and he wanted to take bath from that vessel. She said, I was sexually impure. He وسلم, said, water does not become sexually impure. And this is related in uh, Sunan al-Tirmidhi and Ibn Khuzayma graded it as Sahih. In these ahadith of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, <clears throat> we see that it is permissible for the husband and wife to bathe together. However, it is better in accordance with the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that if they're going to take a bath which is different than taking a shower of course where they're immersed in the water that they should not be sexually impure when doing so if they are trying to uh, remove the hadith but rather they should as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did they should, and, and as the Messenger of Allah commanded, that they should take the water from the vessel and uh, wash themselves in that way. Those are just some of the brief benefits of those ahadith. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.